Hello guys, so uh, yeah, it's been a bit crazy uh, the last several days and now we got three minute candidate networks up. Um, so the minute candidate one, you can basically register a pool and get the funds on there, but everyone is transitioning to minute candidate three uh very soon and then we'll, we'll we'll be waiting for the funds there um which sh should hopefully be soon as well so uh, my suggestion is go straight to mainnet candidate three uh and even though at the moment we you can only set up a relay node to to start syncing you know, get get that done. So once we can get the funds, you're ready to register the stake pool. Um, yeah. So there, there has been uh, the release 1.16 for Cardano node, which was for the mainnet candidate one. Um, now mainnet candidate three uh, will use Cardano node 1.17. So that's what we'll be building here. Uh, and this is going to be an update video. So I didn't touch anything really from the last time I, uh, I was still on the Shelly testnet with Cardano Node 1.15. And now we're going to check out to 1.17 and build that. Uh, start our relay node. And that's it. Then we wait until we get funds. And then I'll make another video on the register in the stake pool and see how things go from there. So yeah, let's cover updating the node because uh, I just figured it would be a good thing uh, because usually we build things from scratch. But what if you have, you know, Cardano 1.15 and you want to upgrade to 1.17? Some people, uh, you know, are a little bit confused and I was confused too. Like, is it any different or whatever? We'll cover it and it's pretty easy. So uh, yeah, let's let's start with that. So, um, things we need to do, I listed here, uh, backup and delete our wallet pools databases. So, um, that's basically from the previous network, we want to get rid of that for the new one. Uh, then we're going to run the latest uh, prerequisite script uh, to make sure we have everything we need. We're going to check out to... Uh, the latest release, so it's not really a release yet, the, the 1.17, so we have to use tags as just a branch. And then we're going to use Cabal install to build a node. Um, yeah, so let's go to our node uh, directory, and we have our private folder and our database folder, which we want to get rid of. So we can first copy uh, the private folder which holds our pools and our keys and we can pull, uh, copy it to uh, cnote home uh, I mean uh, just home and uh, into a folder called backups that's fine and th that's it that's all we need to back up so we can remove private different private folder now we can remove the database as well, the database holds the chain from the previous network, so we don't need it. We're gonna create a new database once we connect to the new network. And that's it. So that's the first step done. Now we want to get the latest uh, script. So we're going to our home directory and here we have the TMP directory. And this is where we had our prerequisite script before. So we're just gonna run the download, um, download the latest script uh, to make sure we, we, you know, if there uh, was a change that we catch it. But uh, you know, all the dependencies should be already there, um, so this shouldn't take too long. And uh, yeah, the next step is to. Uh, get to the branch we want to install and do a cabal clean and install. So this should be done soon. And here, 
do not there it's done uh, okay so let's clear that so what we need to do is need to, we need to go to the uh, git directory and inside here well we basically need to go to the cardano node directory um, and then from here we can do git fetch uh, tags uh, oops git fetch uh, tags I think it's yeah, it's two two dashes tags. All now I already ran this, so I already have them all. You're, you're gonna have a list if you didn't run this before. And now we need to check out. So I here I put uh, check out tags because one point seventeen is a release. It is not a release yet, so it's just a branch. And you know if you, it's better to check out the release, but it's not a release, so we can't. So we have to use the tags. We check out to 1.17, that's fine. And then uh, we're just gonna do cabal clean. Not really necessary, but uh, you know it's good to make sure it's it's gonna run okay. And then the, this last line is from uh, the CN Tools website. Uh, uh, so yeah, we're just gonna run that. That's gonna install the node, and like before, it's gonna take some time, like half an hour or something. Um, so yeah i'll just let it run and fast forward in the video and uh yeah i'll see you once that's done Okay, so that's done. And now all we have to do is uh, get the configuration files and connect to the network. So to get the uh, mainnet candidate three files, you can go to uh, this link I'll put in the description. Uh, for now, I have prepared the uh, commands we need to run so uh, yeah we're gonna download it uh, with these file names so main kind of three Shelly Genesis JSON topology JSON Baron Genesis config and we'll <clears throat> execute that here one two three and those are all the files. If we go to our C node home, ls, we go to files. Um, <clears throat> obviously, we're gonna have uh, a lot of them uh, because CN tools is not configured for main and candidate 3, so it downloaded like the main and candidate 1 files as well. Those are these guys, and uh, we got some. Uh, topology and uh, stuff from the previous network but okay we got the files now so we need to uh, basically just start our node and uh, let it sync so yeah now we just need to start the node with the right files and if we copy the uh, uh, the start node 
code from CN Tools. We can just add it here. So uh, we need to. Uh, we have the the configuration will now be our mainnet uh, main. Right. Okay. Let's, let's copy. So this is uh, this is the config. We'll put the config here and the other thing we need is the topology so we'll copy that into the topology the rest can stay the same database path is to database uh, host address port we'll leave it at that and <clears throat> node socket is fine so if we now open a multiplexer here we'll get uh, I think we can run this and that should work. Um, okay, I'm not. I, I think it's working, but we can clear this because it's the default config, so we can edit it. Uh, so, main country config JSON, if we change view mode to oops, to live view um, and then we, we need to trace block fetch decisions true I think that's all we need so we sa save that yes go back to our multiplexer start again and uh, we may or may not see our node syncing connecting or something let's see it doesn't doesn't look like it's working so let's see what we did wrong i'm just gonna let set this and let's see now. Let me think what could go. So I think it's all good. I don't know. Let's try again. So, so if we if we cut the init config JSON and uh, wrap Shelly, so we'll see. Mainnet candidate three. So, so this is just some that's fine. If we do viral, and can three dash by and that's fine, but it's not syncing yet. Okay, yeah, I, I got it. Um, so the problem, uh, the problem was the database. Uh, so at the, basically, uh, I, I ran it once with the wrong arguments, and it started syncing on the wrong network. So it created a database from the wrong network, and then it couldn't use it. So. Uh, to make sure you know just to remove our database if you you know made a mistake this could be a problem so you see I remove it and it's all fine I go back and I run my node with the files and there we go it's syncing okay uh, so that's getting the node up on the uh, mainnet candidate 3 on 1.17 uh, so 
the next step what's the next step you know now we got uh, we, we are waiting for the wallet and once we get the wallet for for main account three then we can restore funds from the uh, snapshot and we can uh, start registering our pool and stuff so we'll get on to that in the next video uh, hopefully tomorrow but uh, yeah we'll, we'll see how things go so my recommendation do this first get the relay syncing make sure you can connect to the network and all that stuff and uh, yeah then you're ready for uh, registering a pool once that's available so see you next time